Hey, I'm Joel. I'm going to show you how to make a flume style key sound using Xenology Pro by Roland, the software synthesizer, using his track Holding On as inspiration. Here's the finished product. All right, so I'm going to turn off the effects I have on here in Ableton, remove this automation. All right, so first thing, open Xenology Pro, of course. We're going to initialize the patch, so go to click the name here, come down to initial tone, and then this is the default, this nice piano sound. I'm going to turn off MFX to give myself a little bit more room. So that's it by default. So first, we're only going to use one partial, at least to start with. I might see what I'll see what happens, but we'll go with one partial here. So I click oscillator here. We're going to change the oscillator in PCM sync to uh, MG. What was it? MG trisaur. That's it. So we'll straight up, we'll go to the amp envelope here. So we want it to sort of like start a little bit stronger and then fade away. So we'll bring the sustain down and then change the decay here. And we'll just have a listen and see how it sounds. It's a better way. Nice. Okay, so now we'll apply some filter to it. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We're going to use the uh, Moog filter here because it's my favorite. Uh, we'll go, we'll try 24. Now we'll bring the filter down a fair bit, about the 420 mark or so. 422. We're going to add some envelope to it. So we'll, uh, we'll click envelope here, get some decay going on. Don't forget to increase the envelope depth. I think about 10, 13. Nice. And then when we change the master filter here, the master cutoff filter. Cool. So that's the bulk of it done. If we wanted to, we could add another partial and just have like something similar, like um, maybe this organ sound on the top here. Actually, let's uh, let's go pro edit. We'll go utility, copy, tone partial one, utility paste to tone partial two and then we'll go back to visual edit and change the oscillator in here to organ wave so that way we keep the amp envelope and the filter envelope otherwise we'd have to enter them in manually because each partial has its own filter and amp envelope which is really really cool for when you're doing like big pad sounds or sort of evolving sounds and um, as well as other different uh, features as well but in this case it's just easy to copy paste so when we've got that there now we can change the sound, which we did, to organ wave. Let's have a listen to the partial two by itself. And partial one. It's pretty similar, so let's change the pitch of partial two. Pitch it up an octave. Course tune. 12 semitones, one octave. That's nice, but I'll bring the level down. Yeah, so that's that's nice. So that wasn't in the original demo, but I think that works. Um, so yeah, it's kind of it's there, but it's subtle. All right. So now we will go to the LFO, uh, not the LFO, sorry, pitch, and we're going to add a little bit of pitch modulation using the LFO, uh, using LFO one. So let's let's just solo the first partial here for a second. Uh, so pitch is selected there, and we'll bring in LFO one, and we'll hear, you, know, you can hear what it sounds like. Obviously, it doesn't sound very good. So just really subtle, and it's these kind of things that make these sort of sounds, especially with flume sound. It's there's quite a lot of little things that add up to one final um, pleasant sound at the end, one final result. So let's have a listen to that. Nice. And then if we click LFO here. 
Uh, we can change the rate of the LFO. I'm going to bring the amount up so we can hear it a bit easier. Cool, so back to pitch, bring it down. Awesome, and now we'll uh, use the, we'll keep partial two turned off for now, and then we'll go to the amp envelope, and we'll use LFO2 to modulate it. Uh, so you'll hear what that sounds like. It's like vibrato. So again, subtle, but let's go back to LFO. Uh, LFO, we'll click LFO2 here, uh, and we will, hold on, was I even... Okay, LFO2 here, so now we will, uh, what am I doing? So amp envelope, LFO2, go to LFO, have LFO2 selected. Yeah, and now we can change the rate of LFO2. So again, if I, if I show you what that sounds like pretty drastically. I think I'll reduce the speed a little bit. Nice, that's cool but I won't have it so prominent. It's going to check, reduce the speed a little bit. Nice, yeah, I'm just adjusting LFO1 and LFO2 accordingly. That sounds cool. I'll leave partial two off there. Um, we could go and add the LFO to that as well, or we could just copy and paste partial one to two and then change the oscillator again, but let's just leave partial one off. Cool, all right, we'll bring some analog feel in here. slight analog detuning but it's just really subtle maybe 10. all right that's pretty much it for the majority of that sound let's add um no no unison let's we'll go and add some overdrive here uh actually no let's um let's add some chorus on the master effects Sorry, I'm a little bit all over the shop with this one. Uh, so we'll hit MFX here, and down the bottom here where it says through, click that. Chorus, chorus. Uh, rate is the speed at which the chorus you know, moves, and then the depth is the amount. So I'll turn the depth right up. Sounds quite nice at full. But yeah, you can hear instantly uh, that adds a lot of stereo width, so without the chorus. With the chorus. Cool. I like it. So now we'll add some overdrive here, just subtle, a little bit of drive, a little bit of tone, uh, low dynamics and, you know, moderate amount, dry wet. So without it. And with... It's subtle, but it's there. And then we add some reverb. All to taste, of course. So now I'll hit um, bring this Synology Pro back up. You hit configure down here in Ableton, move the cutoff knob, and now I've got control of that down here to automate. So if I right click, show automation. I notice that's kind of a little bit sharp on the decay there. So we can just go back in. I'll turn MFX off. So we've got a bit more room to see here. 
If we go back to the amp envelope on partial one here, maybe we could um, reduce the speed at which the decay happens. Yeah, that's better. Remember that's being automated there, so I'll just delete that so you can hear it without it. Cool, that's how you make some sort of, I guess, lo-fi, sort of mellow key sound influenced by Flume. Again, I'm Joel. Thanks for watching.